What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Brando, and today we're going to talk about Classified Arms Reloaded. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is Season 3 Reloaded for Call of Duty, Vanguard, and Warzone. And let's talk about the new features, modes, and bundles that are coming to Call of Duty, Vanguard, and Warzone. Thanks to the efforts of Raven Software, Sledgehammer Games, Beanox, and even Toys for Bob. Now, this mid-season update will be live in both games following a May 24th update in Vanguard at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, and then there will be a Warzone update at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, May 25th. So that's 11 a.m. Central Time if you guys live in the same time zone as me. So you'll be able to advance across Caldera in an underground mine tunnel to unearth the secrets of the new multiplayer map Spear. This content drop is ready to bring you more frantic action and even new ways to play Warzone and Vanguard. Now remember, this is only a small sampling of the key changes coming to both games. Season 3 Reloaded will feature numerous quality of life updates to include a new squad heads up display for Warzone that are set to be highlighted in patch notes and coming out alongside these updates. We'll obviously cover the patch notes as soon as they come out. So definitely make sure you stay tuned to this channel for more patch notes. But let's talk about Caldera's new minecart underground transit system. All right, guys, so you remember when we heard the rumbling and creaking beneath Caldera's surface before Season 3 launched? Well, many people thought it was going to be a volcano that was going to erupt since we saw it out in the distance on Caldera. But that's not true, guys. So, developed by Toys for Bob, there's going to be a new underground transit system featuring 14 access points indicated on your TAC map and mini-map by a silver vault door symbol. Now... Those that were keen surveyors of Caldera during Season 2 already knew where seven of these access points are as they are the hidden Nebular 5 bunkers. The door to the minecart hub room can be found right after dropping into each bunker. The other seven access points are small hatches into the minecart hub area. Here you can find a map of the system with each hub location corresponding to a letter and the number on your tech map. So, to travel via minecart to another hub area, all you got to do is simply interact with the circular hatch and walk towards the cart. When doing so, the destination name will appear on your screen, so you can also check the map to see how it interacts. So you can see where you're going to go and make sure you're not heading into the gas. So after a few seconds of travel time, you'll instantly appear at your destination, hopefully with no one there waiting to shoot you down. Now, also there's going to be a new Vanguard perk, which will arrive obviously in Vanguard and Warzone. And this is going to be called the Serpentine uh, Perk. So here's a scenario, guys, with the Serpentine Perk. You're in a dead sprint across the map when suddenly a sniper from 300 yards out starts taking shots at you. Obviously, you're running across the map. You have some kind of camping sniper shooting at you. Now, the Serpentine, which is a new perk arriving from Vanguard, hopes to remedy this without completely leaving Marksman out to dry. So available in the Perk 1 slot for all players after the update, Serpentine's description is as follows. Sprinting reduces incoming damage from bullets, explosives, and fire by 20%. Will it be an auto pick? Not necessarily, but consider some of the other options in the blue perk one slot. Currently double time, which boosts tactical sprint, and cold blooded, which directly counters combat scout, are two extremely popular choices in the current meta. So, let's go over this again. Serpentine uh, perk will reduce the damage that you take while you're sprinting that way if you're not running across the map from a sniper and he's one shot you and he won't be able to one shot kill you now it'll reduce the damage by 20 percent so that's pretty awesome there's also some other game changing items that are going to be arriving in warzone as well so in addition to the new perk satchels which will now appear on a rebirth island along with caldera warzone will add three new items to his loot pool in battle royale modes the Gulag Entry Token, the Redeploy Extraction Token, and a Speed Boost Token. Excuse me. There will also be a new field upgrade, the Radar Jammer, to be added in all modes item pool. So, the Gulag Entry Token is what you guys are probably wondering about. The Holt owners love to see good fights, apparently, as they are putting special Gulag Entry Tokens in supply boxes for Battle Royale matches. This token was developed by Raven. And this token brandishes the infamous post-death symbol and binds to your operator once you pick it up. Only one can be carried at a time, and if one is picked up or kept after the gulag is closed, you'll receive cast compensation for holding on to it. If you perish while having the gulag entry token, 
You will be sent back to the gulag rather than needing to be bought back by your team or be eliminated from the game. That way, if you go down, all you have to do is go back to the gulag, win it, and come back for your team. You don't have to be bought back. Now, the redeploy extraction token. This is another token that's going to be added to the game. It was also developed by Raven. It is something that Warzone veterans may be familiar with, a token that grants an automatic redeploy without any need to visit the Gulag or even be bought back at a buy station. Just like the Gulag entry token, this one also deactivates once the hold shuts down late down in the match and players who hold on to it for that long receive a cash prize as compensation. Its usefulness is obvious, but its presence is very rare. Do not expect to find these as often as Gulag entry tokens, which will already be of legendary rarity. Now, Speed Boost. This buff, often found in Warzone's Clash Mode, is another rare item that could appear in any supply box. Once it is picked up, it will automatically grant the operator a temporary movement buff. Sliding while having this boost grants a quick way around the map and allows for a ton of potential movement techniques, such as parkour lines and jumps, which can help before or during engagement. Like the re redeploy extraction token, the speed boost will not be a common item in supply boxes, and once picked up, its effectiveness will be for an extremely limited time. Make the most of this boost, and it will generously reward you and your squad. I mentioned earlier, guys, about the radar jammer. This is similar to how this tool works in Call of Duty multiplayer. The radar jammer is a field upgrade that scrambles the tac mac of enemy players and prevents kill streaks for anyone within a short distance. Now, we're going to talk about high value, high stakes. There's uh, going to be new high value loot zones in Warzone. So, they were first introduced during Operation Monarch. High value loot zones will now appear in standard battle royale games as high risk, high reward places to drop or travel to. All you gotta do is check your tech map or mini map to see where these areas are and decide whether to set a course for fortune and frequent fighting. So hopefully they're highlighted like they are in COD Mobile. Hopefully they're highlighted like in orange. Now there's also going to be a new Warzone limited time mode called Champion of Caldera. Uh, with classified arms reloaded, solo players will get another high intensity limited time mode. And as the name suggests, fight to become the Champion of Caldera. So you'll launch on the first day of classified arms reloaded. Champion of Caldera features 150 maximum players in a single continuously closing circle in a battle royale style fight for survival. So it looks like once you land, you'll see where the circle is and it'll continue to close. And it looks like you'll be able to see where the center of the circle is. As you drop, all operators will drop in with their custom loadout, a gas mask, and even a single rede redeploy extraction token. The item pool is slightly altered to emphasize equipment not normally found in loadouts and Epic the Legendary Rarity Weapons. You can collect cash to visit an upgraded buy station which features the advanced UAV, explosive bow, and even a specialist bonus for a hefty fee. Now, most notably, kills in this game mode immediately refill player health, equipment, and ammo, incentivizing would-be champions to play aggressively and eliminate the competition directly to have the best chance of victory instead of laying there and camping like other players want to do in Warzone. Now, there's also going to be Rebirth Island updates. They had a teaser in the blog. There was a lot of stuff that was uh, redacted in it. But they also talked about op occupation scan and game event. So at some point during standard Rebirth Resurgence matches, operators may be alerted of an occupation scan. At this point, they will need to go prone or else their position will be revealed to every other player on the attack map and your mini map. Although this effect lasts only for a short period of time, and ends early if the operator perishes, the occupation scan should keep everyone even more alert on an island from which they may need to escape. So that's going to be a fun little short little limited time mode on Rebirth Island. Now Vanguard is getting a multiplayer map called Spear. Uh, this takes place in a, uh, it's a new multiplayer map featuring an underground weapons lab hidden beneath the facade of a coal mine. So there's not much for uh, Vanguard in this update. It's mainly Warzone. There's also going to be a Kim Tae Young completes Task Force Harpy. It's going to be a bundle. We're going to be able to buy that. There's also going to be the new H4 Blixen SMG. So um, uh, you'll be able to unlock the H4 Blixen by completing its SMG based challenge. Get three sliding kills in a single match 15 times or by purchasing a store bundle to be released over the season. 
which features a weapon blueprint from this heaven, from this weapons family. So that'll be fun. Um, there's also going to be other updates in the store. There's going to be an update or a bundle called Spilled Ink. This was inspired by many, uh, many uh, tattoo artists, mainly by Ryan Ashley, Nico Hurtado, and Scott Campbell in the Scab Shop. Uh, there's also going to be multiple Mastercrafts that are coming inbound, including the High Voltage uh, Reactive Mastercraft bundle, which looks really cool. Um, there's also going to be a tracer pack called the Dark Ether Mastercraft bundle. It's going to be a zombies theme pack that should spark some excitement for the first round base experience of Vanguard, which will be coming soon. Hopefully it'll be before season four, but shortly after season three reloaded. So that's going to be interesting, guys. Um, I know it was a long video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That's pretty much all I have for you today. Uh, check out the Call of Duty blog if you want to learn more. Um, so yeah, guys, smash the like button. Please subscribe. If you're new to the channel, hit the notification button. And until next time, squids, I'll see you later.